This is a quick review of the Google Fi. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I mean, I'm taking a quick break, you know, from traveling, even though this is travel related, just to kind of give you a review on Google Fi. Obviously, I did one last year for 2020, 2020 and now I want to do one for 2021. Uh, again, this is your first time, please sus consider subscribing. Uh, I know you're asking why do I have three phones here, but let, I'm gonna explain it in just a second here. Right here, I have a, a Pixel 3a, I have a iPhone 8, and I have an iPhone 11. Uh, when I first got Google 5 last year, I only had a, this, well, I actually only had this phone and then I added the 3a, and I wanted to test it out because I knew that at some point in time I was gonna travel, and I wanted to make sure I have two numbers connected to my account, to friends, family, banks, or whatever, I have two numbers. Because part of my plan was to have a low permanent uh, phone system <laughs> that I have, that I can be able to be contacted no matter what, especially with banks. Because you know, obviously, whenever you do something with bank, reset password or whatever, you know, they want to send you a message to make sure everything good to go. And I know there are other alternatives, but this is what I budgeted for. So if you were to get a Google plan, obviously it's $20 for the, the the main phone and that you add any other phone to it, uh, it's $15. So in other words, I have budgeted for $35 for phone. Now obviously there are taxes involved, so that's another $10 or whatever. So my plan was when I decided that I was going to quit my job and start traveling, that I wanted to make sure I'd already budgeted for phones and I want to make sure that I have phones consistent numbers no matter where I go in the world and this was part of the plan and the but I decided to add the iPhone 11 because I want to make sure I have a, the latest iPhone before I leave the states and then I decided to make this phone the phone that I use for local phones so whenever I get to a next duty station this is supposed to be the phone where I will use locally meaning that I will buy a sim card and just use local data and make these two phones my primary phones and because the way it works with these phones, you pay the thirty-five dollars, and any time and any time you use any any gig that you use is ten dollar per gig. So I knew that between both of these phones, based on my plan, that I was not going to spend no more than fifty-five dollars. You know, because I was going to spend probably less than a gig, and this is whatever I use, depending on where I'm at at the time. Uh, so that was part of the plan. It worked perfectly because after I left the United States. I went to Mexico City and again if you have not been following my channel you know that I was in Mexico City for a whole month. Everything worked perfectly. I I knew that I did not have any data on this phone and I knew that if I bought a 3A, Pixel 3A, that it's going to pick up on the strongest signal. The way it works because the switching mechanism is supposed to switch to the most strongest tower and I knew that the iPhone was going to click on the first one it comes to. So I knew this may be the weakest link as far as communication is concerned. And this was supposed to be the strongest link. Okay. As soon as I arrived in Mexico City, it worked perfectly as planned. It The, the Pixel 3a picked up the, the strongest signal. And I just went for that first. That way I didn't have to worry about going through the airport looking for a SIM card for this one. Because this is my plan was always have data no matter where I go that gives me time to, to look for data once I got to my Airbnb and kind of feel where I'm at so again when I got there everything worked perfectly I got to the airport this one picked up a real strong signal I was able to order Uber Uber excuse me Uber got to my Airbnb and the next day I went to Walmart in Mexico City and got a SIM card for this phone no problem because the whole purpose is to have this phone to locally and also just in case something happened while I'm out I don't have to worry about anybody you know if my phone gets stolen or something I can always replace this one but these will have my permanent number and they would all, always be back up and stay in the hotel or, or the Airbnb no matter where I'm at again everything worked perfectly uh, because again once I got to the Airbnb I had Wi-Fi no problem. Hook these up to the Wi-Fi. They were still getting messages and I wasn't using any data. And this was the phone primarily I was using for data. It only became an issue maybe a, maybe a few days 
later. All of a sudden, I wasn't picking up strong signal. I didn't understand why, because I think I took this phone out for whatever reason, because this one was, the, I forgot to recharge the battery. So I took this phone out and I didn't have any data. And I didn't understand why Google Fire wasn't working. I wasn't out long, so I didn't worry about it. Again, I, I should have followed up with Google Fi. I, again, I didn't understand why I wasn't getting any data on either phones. You know what I mean? Because I actually tried this the next day. Uh, or maybe later on that day, because this still wasn't charged enough. So, and I still wasn't having a strong data. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't having. So instead of just calling Google Fire to follow up, I did not. I said, okay, no big deal. You know, I was able to charge this phone. And for the most part, other than buying a couple of SIM card, because I was still getting used to how much data I really need. Um, you know, what I realized, this was supposed to be primarily just for using Google Map and land navigation and maybe Google Translate or something. But I, I think I underestimated uh, how much data that navigation uses, you know. Uh, so I ended up buying a couple of SIM card, probably paying more than I should have because I didn't understand how much data I should have bought when I bought the first SIM card. You know, instead of just worry about buying SIM card with all the little extras that I don't use, unlimited Facebook, unlimited WhatsApp. I don't, I just really needed straight data. And I think if I had just paid attention and looked for a cheap SIM card with straight data, this probably would have worked out well for me because it would, it would help, it would have helped me out with the uh, navigation. But anyway, I didn't, it, it, again, it still wasn't a big issue in Mexico. I said, all right, I'll figure it out later. I, it wasn't until I got to the airport that I realized, oh man, these two phone wasn't working and I had no data. I had enough, I mean, obviously I was using Wi-Fi to use Uber to get me to the airport. And I figured, okay, I will resolve the issue once I get to my next station, my next location. It, only when I got to Mexico City Airport that they wanted to uh, do some type of medical evaluation of everybody. They, and it have to be done online. They didn't have any paper. I had no data. And the guy was not going to let me go to the plane because, until I fill out the form. And he had no paper as backup. And I had no data. So it, in other words, it took a little while and I was almost about to miss my plane. Then the supervisor stepped in and kind of guided me to the plane. And I said, all right. Once I get to my next destination, I got to get this issue resolved. But but you know what? Even then, I'm thinking it was a Mexico City thing. So I said, okay, maybe once I get to uh, Quito, Ecuador, which is the next location I went to, it's, you know, it's going to just, you know, resolve itself. Again, arrived in Quito, both phones said, welcome to Ecuador or welcome to Ico, I Quito, but still no data. Okay, I didn't understand. I, I said, okay, as soon as I get to the Airbnb, uh, I'm going to call the help desk. In the meantime, the host of the Airbnb helped me find a local SIM card. So I was able to get a nice $20 SIM card from Quito with about 15 gig of data, which was perfect. You know what I mean? Because again, I, yeah, I got a, bit, a good, better idea. By that time, I had a better idea how much data I needed and make sure I had some so I wouldn't have any problem. Call customer service. No, no, no. I didn't call customer service. I used the uh, the chat program on customer service. Keep in mind, I had Wi-Fi, so it was no really big deal, uh, you know, getting in touch with customer service. So we resolved the issue. Again, I, these phones were supposed to be designed to just switch automatically once you got to the location. But apparently, something happened. I don't know what I did wrong because they worked perfectly when I got to Mexico City, but something happened. But anyway, do some troubleshootings and everything. Uh, the, the help desk were able to get me resolved. Everything started working perfectly in Quito. I said, all right, before I make this video, I'm gonna try another country. Again, I'm in another country right now and I wish, and my next video will tell you where I met, uh, uh, you know, but I don't wanna disclose where I'm at right now, but I wanted to test out the, the next country to see if everything is gonna work perfectly. I'm in the next country. As soon as I arrive, it worked exactly as planned. As planned, excuse me, <laughs> the way it's supposed to. Uh, this phone, the Google phone, automatically found the strongest uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, this one actually, actually, this one did better than I expected. So it must have found the right one at the right time. So both phones were working perfectly. Again, 
I don't have a, a, a SIM card for this one. That's what I'm gonna look for today. But because I just arrived yesterday to this new country, but again, the whole purpose is to to, to kind of share with you on my opinion of Google Fi. Again, there was a hiccup. I don't know what happened. Even the help desk couldn't understand what happened. He said everything's supposed to work automatically. But once we did some manual things, made some adjustment, now they're working perfectly as planned. Now, I don't know how long this is supposed to, I, I know Google Fi overseas don't supposed to be long term, but I've seen people have the phone for a period of time. And I figured it's just my own mindset. I mean, they may shut it off. Well, they're not gonna shut any of them off because as long as you, would you make, what they may shut off is the data. And keep in mind for the whole first month, I didn't really have data on this one anyway. So I didn't pay for any data, but I was just paying for the use of the phone and having the numbers and be able to use, you know, calls and if I need to make calls and so on and so forth. So I'm prepared for it if they shut it off. But my thinking is that as long as you don't abuse the data, you may be able to keep it on as long as possible. We're going to find out real soon, but, um, yeah, so I'm hopefully I didn't confuse anybody who's on the fence about buying Google Fi. Again, if you plan on being in the States and not going anywhere, uh, it's excellent in the States. And even if you go to a quick trip like like I went to Puerto Rico and, and I think I went to another island, you know, a couple of places last last year, it worked perfectly. Not a problem. Uh, but again, and again, it worked perfectly when I arrived in Mexico City, and it worked perfectly when I arrived in this new country, which I will share with you in the next video. Uh, so if you're on the fence about getting Google Fi, definitely get it. Uh, again, I wanted these just because I wanted to keep a number that I've had for a long period of time. I know there were other ways of doing it, but this actually works well for me, and I already budgeted for it. Keep in mind, $20 for the first time, $15 for any additional phone. If you want to have three numbers, you can have, you know, you can pay 20 plus $30. You know what I mean? It's up to you. But this was part of my plan. It seemed to be working. Again, if I lose this phone, I can always replace this phone uh, and just get a, a, a new phone with a new SIM card. But I wanted to make sure that I have these phones. So I, you, you know, if you lose your phone in another country, you can't just all of a sudden get another phone and get a new number when you're in another country. You almost have to wait till you get have to get back to the United States. So again, the primary purpose of these phones was to stay into stay in the uh, Airbnb or hotel or whatever, and primarily use this phone for wherever I go, a local SIM card, and go on and you know so on and so forth. So anyway, if you have any questions, please drop them uh, a message below. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and drop a comment if you have any comment. I have a lot more videos on the new uh, the new country I'm in, uh, and I hope you'll be able to come with me. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.